Number three, genetics. This is actually a new one for me to explore. Um, the genetics scenario. So I'm a very small micro farm from an industry perspective. Uh, I don't have an R&D team. I don't have anyone studying the genetic makeup of my beetles, my larvae, etc. So all I have are observations and presumptions, hypotheses that I test. But what I can tell you is that depending on what stock you start with, you may have genetically superior or genetically equal or genetically inferior mealworm stock to me. And where does that come into play? So one of the things I've been noticing recently with the introduction of my new be, uh, mealworm sifting machine is that in a single tray that is three months old getting harvested and sifted for the first time I'll have some pupa I'll have large mealworms I'll have medium mealworms I'll have small mealworms and now what I'm finding is I have micro size what I would call micro micro size mealworm 